Welcome back. Still on the breakfast, the governing council of the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria in a press conference organized ahead of its 13th annual banking and finance conference says the industry during the conference will focus on repositioning sustainable growth for the nation's economy and growth. Jacinta Obiku reports. The Banking and Finance Conference, an annual forum that brings together professionals from the financial services industry and other stakeholders engaged in banking oppression, is this year set out on a unique hybrid press conference, which is the first of its kind in the annals of the CIBN and to focus on building sustainable economy. This year's event is a total deviation from the norms in the execution of the conference due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The theme of the conference, facilitating a sustainable future, the role of banking and finance, is predicated on the need to evaluate the role of the banking and finance industry in engendering an inclusive sustainable growth, as well as offering direction to Nigerian banks, financial institutions, guidance and collaborative discussion with regulators, policymakers, and other stakeholders on how to reposition the industry for relevance in the new world order. Chairman Conference Consultative Committee was speaking and listed some details of the discussions to be expected during the conference. We focus on uh, coming up with practical solutions and suggestions and receiving practical inputs from practitioners to ensure that the, the policy environment uh, actually helps participants to achieve the goal of sustainable development going into the future. The question of the developmental skills of the CIBN was also addressed. Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria and the IFC uh, conducted a train the trainers workshop um, on sustainable banking in Nigeria. The chairman also stressed on the capacities of the banking and finance industry and how it has helped to weather the storm during the economy meltdown of the nation. Particularly in the last two, three years, uh, since the execution of the development plans that was set and rolled out by the central bank, all banks have consciously uh, provided platform for the growth of the agricultural industry. Banking and finance industry brainstorming on strategic issues that are critical to building a sound and sustainable financial system and economy is said to be apt and timely, especially during the trying times for the nation's economy. Jacinta Obiuku, Plus TV Africa. And to talk more on this is the MD CEO of Ecobank Nigeria Limited, Patrick Akimuta, who is also the chairman, planning committee, 13th annual banking and finance conference. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. What a time the 13th edition is taking place, uh, the COVID-19 era. Uh, do you think this might form the crux of the, con of the discussions? Well, um, it is dependent on how we take the opportunity that these times provide. If you look historically, most of the developed economies arose out of wartime. And when there is deprivation, the human intellect to maximize innovation comes to play. So what we're looking forward to is leveraging the challenges of COVID-19 to propel original thinking that will galvanize the focus on the fundamentals that serve our purpose as Nigeria. Leveraging digital economy, leveraging our human capital to take Nigeria to the next level. So we look forward to an exciting conference. All right, and uh, the theme for this year, facilitating sustainable future, the role of banking and finance. Uh, you'll recall uh, how, uh, of course, uh, in, in this uh, period, a sister bank fired many of its staff. 
Uh, is that one thing that might come up during uh, the discussions? And how can the, this uh, type of trends be curtailed in the nearest future? Well, you see, this, this conference, actually the theme was decided before the COVID-19 pandemic. So what it demonstrates is the original thinking that went into that theme. So today, what would what we would expect at the conference is that we will focus on how we leverage the opportunities before us. Agriculture, export, services, the digital economy, how we'll be able to harness the shells. We have 200 million people. We're the largest economy in Africa. With technology, we can propel the country to become self-sufficient, in productive capacity, infrastructure, and bring every able Nigerian to participate. Because what you just referred to is really how does every Nigerian get the opportunity to utilize his or her intellect and potentials uh, to grow along the economic ladder. And so this conference is going to enable such discussions how you participate using your mobile phone, how you're able to do payments, uh, how you're able to access credit, how you can grow as an SME, how you can access markets. So this is what this conference is about. And the conference is a hybrid, physical in Lagos and Abuja, and also on the Zoom platform. It is the first conference that is free for everyone to participate. So it is a unique opportunity, and we're looking forward to everybody dialing in. The governor of the central bank is the chief host. We have credible speakers. The former minister for trade and industry, Dr. Oke Nelama, is the keynote speaker. We will have Princess um, Adiflire, who is uh, the SSA on sustainable goals, participate. Dr. Jumoke Uduwale, uh, who is the special assistant uh, to the president on ease of doing business, will be there. We have bank CEOs, we have fintechs, we have the Nollywood, Ms. Joke Silva will be there. Uh, we have great um, um, speakers, panelists, Dr. Shegwaino, the chairman of Fintech Africa, will be there. Uh, Michelle Elebe, Group CEO of InterSwitch will be there. So all of us will be there to put heads together. And every Nigerian, and indeed everyone globally, including potential investors from outside Nigeria, have a chance to participate in this conference. Okay, and of course, great thing you've mentioned, a long list of uh, persons that will you know, be present at this conference. Uh, the expectations would have been that the attendance will reduce this year uh, compared to uh, the previous years. Um, what other strategies, you know, have you also put in place to attract major players in the sector? Yes, as I did say, this is a hybrid conference. So we are taking the opportunity of the times, which is to leverage technology. And because of this unique opportunity, typically we would have about 400, 500 people participate physically. But this year we expect um, more than 2,500 participants. And uh, we have... Uh, reached out to a wide array um, of potential speakers, panelists, and the fact is that even you, the presenter on this, on, on this, or the moderator on this chat, you have the opportunity uh, to join on Zoom and participate. You can type in your question or your comments, and we're able to filter that to the outside world so that everyone is truly included in this conference. This is the power of digital. The same way it is enabling us to deepen financial inclusion in Nigeria, which is critical to bringing everybody to be part of the ecosystem that takes the country to the next level. All right, and how is the CIBN also engaging the policymakers? And I'm talking fiscal and monetary now to ensure that there is an enabling environment for investments which, of course, will bring about sustainable development in the country. The CIBN is a mother platform for professionals in the banking and finance industry. 
uh, the, the CIBN has engaged both in terms of uh, multilateral relationships with both the central bank on the monetary side, the Ministry of Finance on the fiscal side, uh, participants in the economy through the Bankers Committee, participation of all banks, uh, of all microfinance institutions. But most significantly, the CIBN has established a credible capacity building mechanism. And leveraging technology, the CIBN Academy is expanding, not just by inviting people to take the professional exams, but also providing access to workers in the public sector to deepen their knowledge of public finance, uh, to SMEs, to deepen their understanding of how to manage their investments and cash management and all such tools that will help them become better managers uh, of their businesses. So the CIBN Academy is also working with various banks and quite a number of banks are partnering with our academy to also deepen the capacities of their staff. So the CIBN engages in public advocacy to promote the positive pillars that would ensure a sustainable economy. And this banking conference is one of those uh, platforms that the CIBN has been using. The president and chairman of council of the CIBN, Mr. Bayo Lubemi, who is a co-host of this conference and will participate fully. All right, now, let's also quickly talk in terms of uh, capacity development. How is the banking industry also developing the skills of bankers uh, to provide support in areas of uh, sustainable banking and finance in the, in the country? Absolutely. The, most banks now have uh, not only emphasized the requirement for every banker uh, to be certified as a professional banker uh, for you to be a senior management cadre in the banking industry. You need to have your certification as a member of the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria. And to do that, there are minimum courses and training that you have to attend and be certi certified on. But beyond that, leveraging technology, we are seeing uh, digital banking academies. Uh, as you would have observed, a number of banks have been uh, carrying out their regular training for their staff and for their customers uh, leveraging on such academies. Recently, NEPAD and uh, ODA are working with one of the large banks uh, also rolled out a digital academy for SMEs. So it's all about embracing this opportunity uh, that if you need to go somewhere physically, then you are constrained by the access to that location, the cost of going there, and the, the space available for leveraging digital platforms like this uh, interview that we're having. I'm sitting in my office yeah. uh, in, in Victoria Island, and you are in your studios, and we're able to communicate with the entire world. So this could be a training session, and every bank is leveraging such capability to improve the competence of their staff. All right, and uh, what are your expectations during and after the, the event? Well, this is a time for us as a country uh, to embrace the opportunity before us. The real challenge for us as a country is that we have 200 pe million people. We need to engage everybody in productive activity. We need to deepen our access uh, to, to markets, access to finance, uh, bring financial services to every neighborhood through the various agency platforms available so that everybody can save easily, uh, bring together investments that is used to power the manufacturing sector, that is used to develop the productive sector, the agricultural sector, and become a massive exporting country so that as the Afri Africa continental free trade agreement kicks off, Nigeria will take its rightful place and begin to export massively from the productive capacity of our people. This is the purpose of the conference and we look forward to having everyone participate because it is free. You just need to dial in on Zoom 
and your voice will be heard. And at the end of the conference, the core decisions, the understanding that is forged from uh, this open collaborative discussion will be used to guide policy decisions and shape the way uh, we develop our economy going forward. So it will be an interesting and exciting conference. The diaspora is able to participate. Every Nigerian is able to participate. Every professional is able to participate. And we invite the media uh, to, to remind everyone so that we all have a productive conference. Thank you very much. The uh, MD CEO of Echo Bank, Nigeria Limited, uh, Patrick Akinwuta, thank you so much for speaking with us. And of course, uh, looking forward to an interesting conference. Thank you very much. Thank you.